crowds and, and whip it across the ground. Anything could happen across the box. Forrester, dispossessed. Looks like someone might have stood in his foot there. Forrester's yeah. hobbling, he's down. He's Ball played across, oh. Murphy had a chance, looking for a penalty. He feels like they were hands on his back from Norman. Nah. Forrester is still down here, and if you're a yeah. Pats fan, you've got to be concerned yeah. about this, Phil, because that looked like a sore one on Forrester. It does look like a sore one. We just missed it there. It was this yeah. Warman coming together. I thought Warman should have had a shot there, just coming in now here. Drilled it. So it looks like Honan is okay, and Cork's will get the ball back here. He's limping, though, Rory. He's back standing, yeah. They might get him to half time, Phil, see yeah. if they can uh, get him that treatment. Bargary plays the ball in. It's played across the key there. It's oh. just over the bar. That was close. Lovely ball on the far yeah. side from Bargary. Yeah. Keating's header just flashed over the crossbar. Dean Linus, a relief man after that. Yes. And Josh is limping mad. He's in trouble. He can't wait for this whistle to blow. Watch, we watch the replay there. No, that we Keating. haven't seen for a while. They're not allowing St. Pat's time on the ball. They're closing down every time Pat's get a ball. You know? That's good stuff there from Bolger, who's displayed his battling qualities throughout the game. And he plays it off for of Kravchuk. Oh. Plays it through the legs of Murphy and plays it towards Bargary. Drill it, from drill it. He plays it all the way across, oh. and it's Norman. Gets a foot on that. Murphy was lurking. Positive start to the second half great, of Cork City, Phil. Great ball in by Bargary. That could have gone anywhere, Rory. It was great defending by Norman as well. So we'll see what happens here. It's Warman to take. Warman. Left footed in swinging. The ball bounces dangerously. Redmond eventually gets it clear. Hakkinen tries to take oh. the shot. Acrobatic stuff from the flying fin. Keating. Dispossessed. Now St. Pats will go on the attack. This is where Pats are dangerous. Donegan plays the ball all the way across. Oh, well done, Donovan. Donovan. Free. Has to be a free. Goes yes. for a free kick. Oh, the other that's way. Given, and that's a second oh. yellow card for O'Donovan. And oh. that is a red card. Cork City down to 10. And Phil. I thought Phil, that was Phil, a free. Phil. I thought that was a free for Donovan. Whoa. That's a big, big moment here. A big, big call by yeah. Oliver Moore. And looking forward to seeing that one again. I thought that was a free from, for Donovan. It looked like Donovan had just nicked the ball past. Yes. He was caught on the wrong side, Phil, but it looked like he just got his toe to the ball. He's shouting at the official over here saying he can't believe it. Yeah. Let's see that again. Ball comes across. As Lonergan played the ball across. Donovan runs for it. Just gets his toe here. Yes, just there. Look at you there. He's draining there now, look. He's Let's go play this from St. Pat's. Murphy. It's Levy just falls. But he still has it as Levy. Just crowded out of it, and Drynan has to get it out anywhere. Anywhere will do, and he pulls it, puts it out for a throw over the far side. And now it's Lennon to take this throw in. Back to Lennon. Plays a lovely ball in. It's oh. Levy's there. It's goal. Kean Levy's breaking the deadlock here at Turner's Cross. Cork City nil, St. Pat's won, 77 minutes on the clock. And it's the 21 year old Mardi scoring his second goal, league goal of the season. And he's put the Saints ahead. And Phil, you have to say that was coming. Yeah, there was a lot of pressure. Pat's put a lot of pressure. Has a great ball in. Great ball in, very hard to defend that. And he got on to the end of it and then buried it. Good goal. Great goal in the end for St. Pat's. As they prepare a number, number of substitutions here, Adam Murphy is off. Alex Nolan comes in.
and Kian Levy comes off just after scoring the goal Finley and Ben McCormick the half volley that's McGrath who tidies that up Coleman plays it to Honahan he can turn Bargery lovely stuff from City's number 11 let's go past Forrester and now it's O'Brien Whitmarsh in a bit of space takes a shot oh. fine effort forces a good save from Dean Linus and that'll be a corner kick for Cork City Three minutes left, a fine effort from Joe O'Brien Whitmarsh, just done as a substitute. Great shot, great shot, going right into the corner. At first I thought he was a bit just too far out, but he just let that go. Right into the corner. By my count, that's... Six yellow cards. There goes the final whistle. And that is the full-time whistle. Cork City nil, same paths won. Second half goal from Mark Doyle, separating the sides here at Turner's Cross tonight. The big talking point, the sending off of John O'Donovan for a second yellow card, which replays would suggest looked harsh indeed. Oliver Moran showing two yellow cards to the young West Cork man. Cork City lost 5 0 to Dundalk, the newly installed manager of Richie Holland, just calling his team to show some fight, show some heart. And that's what they got tonight.